Hello and welcome to the Paul Laurie Foundation 2013 Order of Merit Pro-Am here at Newmacker Golf Club. Well, the summer is uh, just about behind us now, but the course here still in fabulous condition. Scotty Henderson, one of the pros there, teeing off at the first, and water is a real feature round here at Newmacker. A few risk and reward shots for the longer hitters and uh, hazards for all to try and clear on their way round. And after the formalities of the team photos on the first tee, we can go up behind the green and look at some of the action. There you can see a pond right in front of this first green for the players to negotiate. And here we have Ewan Barber, who's playing professional today, Billy Fife. Uh, well, perhaps Billy's had a little uh, word with him about his putting stroke straight away, because that's a beautiful putt. Billy, very renowned coach at the Paul Laurie Golf Centre. Now, further back down the fairway, here's Sam Yule. And uh, I would say that was a mid to long iron he had there for his approach. And he's cleared the water nicely and landed on the front edge of the green, rolling up. And we can take a look. Birdie opportunity for Sam. Could he convert? Oh, not quite. But that is a tap in for a par. And a very nice steady start. Something to build on. Sam out with Chris Nickel from the Paul Laurie Golf Centre as his professional. Now, it's not the longest par four to open with, but it's certainly not the shortest and it's certainly not the easiest. As some of our other competitors found out and uh, well even when you do clear the water here's jonathan bell in the trees uh, well he was more ready for that shot than the cameraman straight onto it and uh, that's a remarkable shot that's sevy stuff from knee deep in the rough under the trees jonathan was part of the malcolm isaacs team and malcolm from the back of the green showing a nice professional touch there and uh, well we saw the chip from the trees over the path onto the green could Jonathan convert? Yeah. He certainly could. And, well, I don't think you'll see a better up and down all day. Remarkable stuff. Although not too many celebrations. Perhaps he had a few trials and tribulations before he even got to the trees. Now back down the fairway. Craig Leith. Craig out with Andrew Cooper, the pro. And good swing and great result. Well, flying that right at the flag. Just rolling on past... Very steady stuff. Obviously a quality golfer. Low handicapper. One of his teammates, Ethan Ross. Missing the green up to the left, but it's all about the recovery. Look at that. Fantastic chip. And some nice stuff there up at the first green. Moving down to the par 3 ninth. And it's downhill, but the water is looming to the right-hand side of the green for anyone who's a little bit wayward. It can encourage you to pull your ball to the left. Cameron Black here doing just that. But he will tell you, he was judging the contours because that's a great result. Onto the green. Beautiful stuff. Now, well, that left him with this birdie putt. Cameron out with Craig Dempster, the professional. And a nice putt. Lagging it up next to the hole and tapping in for a par. Steady stuff. Oh, and a determined stride. Now, someone who pulled it just a little bit too far left. Andrew George. Up there on the slope. And he's out with Robbie Stewart. And look at that. Clearing the path. Rolling down. And what a magnificent effort. Well, I said we wouldn't see a better up and down than Jonathan Bell's. But I can tell you that Andrew rolled that putt in for a par three. And, well, perhaps matching Jonathan. Now, back up to the tee, and this was Cameron Cobbin. Cameron, out with Ross Cameron. And, well, a little bit more direct approach there. Straight at the flag, just coming up a touch short on the edge of the fringe. Now, here we have Ben Green, one of the Billy Fife team. And Ben, well, he looks like he's gone for the slope option. Yes, onto the slope, but with great results. And at that point, Nearest to pin. Great effort there from Ben. Now, Callum Shiel. 
also part of Billy's team. And again, with a more direct approach. Uh, well, there's not much between those two balls. And third member of the team. Well, it was you and Barber. And, well, just joining in. Missing the green, but a lovely shot out the bunker. And uh, quality all round for Billy's team. Uh, but speaking of quality, well, here's Chris Nickel. He's playing his trade on the Alps Tour mainly these days. Looking for promotion to the Challenge Tour this year, no doubt. And, well, what a magnificent tee shot. That's what it's all about, the professional game. And we can take a quick look at the 10th. Uh, just the final group coming up here. Craig Leith. Well, we saw him with a quality approach at the first hole. And once again, the middle of the fairway and onto the green and up towards the hole. Very steady stuff from young Craig Leith. One of his playing partners, Matthew Daly. And, well, he was just short laying up. And a wise choice. Because he's chipped it over the water onto the green. Very nicely indeed. Yes, managing to negotiate all the water there. And, well, it's time to move up to the 18th and see some of the groups coming in and finishing off. Here we have Ross Conan. Well played, Ross. Out with Craig Dempster. Uh, yes, making sure the camera's on. Quite right, too. Back down the fairway. Uh, we've got Cameron Black from the middle of the fairway. The 18th, not the longest par four. It is uphill, but the wind helping today. But that's a great shot to the middle of the green there from Cameron. Now, a couple of groups back. We've got Finlay Smith. And Finlay also, look at that. One of the best approaches we saw all day. Knocking it to no more than five or six feet. And a celebratory drink of juice. Quite right, too. And he was playing with, um, no, not Ricky Fowler, but uh, actually Cameron Carnegie. Cameron found a bunker, but no problem to a man of his abilities. And living up to the outfit there with a beautiful bunker shot. Always rake your bunkers after. Well done, boys. And, uh, well, perhaps, though, the most impressive putt we saw on the 18th was from Connor Brown. Look at that. Not too much of a celebration though, which leads me to suspect that perhaps that wasn't a birdie putt for Connor. But still a great way to finish your round. And now we can take a look at the winning team a little bit more. So it's back to the ninth. This is Finlay Smith. This was his tee shot at the ninth. Landing right in the heart of the green. Just rolling on a touch though. And this is the team alongside Calvin Dufton. This is him coming out the bunker after his tee shot. Nicely played. And the third junior was Joshua Mitchell. Uh, but the pro was Greg Hutchin. Now, Greg missing the fairway a touch on the 18th there, but it's all about the recovery. He sank that for a birdie three on the last. And Greg, well, he's won just about everything this year on the Tartan Tour. Even made the cut at the Scottish Open and the PGA down at Wentworth. Now, back down the fairway... That was Calvin Dufton's approach. Joshua Mitchell here, though, he missed the green into the bunker. But he gave himself every chance with that magnificent bunker shot just past the hole. And we can take a look. Could he finish in style? There is a real slope in this last green. But it was good pace from Joshua. Just slightly offline. And it was very, very close between Greg's team and Scott Henderson's team of Murray Spence, Sam Craig and Cameron Gray. But as it was, Hutch and the three boys hold out to take the title. Well done to Finlay, Calvin and Joshua and all the golfers who made the final. <laughs>